this is the second step uh, with the kiln dry process that I'm I'm using and uh, what, what this is is uh, you use a dehumidifier and you're going to pull the moisture out of the wood uh, what I did was I, I changed the panel insulation from the first step to just clear plastic. Let me show you uh, kind of a, a shot of that on the side here. Just clear plastic. The idea there is that what I found is uh, that with the dehumidifier, it um, it, it has a, a, a temperature rating, uh, and it, it says that it's not not really that that effective uh, over 90 degrees Fahrenheit and it starts to lose uh, the performance we'll say and so you, I, I've tried to keep it you know at 90 degrees or, or less ideally and what I found is that the dehumidifier creates a lot of heat and if I use the panel insulation you know all that heat gets stored inside and I'll, I'll, I'll get over 90 degrees Fahrenheit really quickly so I switched over to the plastic you know thinking that uh, you know that's going to release heat quicker and the configuration now I've got this side pulled off the plastic pulled off over here and the configuration I have is just a, the dehumidifier and then there's the box fan right there right there and they're, they're kind of set up in a way that uh, try to get some turbulence inside the kiln uh, keep you know everything at about the same temperature and have airflow going across the wood which is important for the the dry process. Oh, also, what I have in there, what I will have in there, is uh, I have a, a temperature sensor here. Uh, bought it at Walmart. It says uh, Accurite. It works pretty good. It's got a, a remote cable temperature sensor. Then that uh, that will get routed in. And what what I'll do is put that on the inlet side of the dehumidifier. So that I can, I can see well what's the temperature of the air going into that, you know, and if it if it gets over 90 degrees, I can uh, you know shut it down or you know reduce uh, reduce the uh, relative humidity setting to try and uh, reduce that temperature. Now the other thing that I, I have here is uh, I I ran a batch of uh, western red cedar here. This was the first batch that I did, and uh, I, I also got a, uh, a moisture meter. Uh, this guy right here, this brand is a Doctor Meter. It's a MD812. It was about eighteen dollars, and uh, it, it seems to work pretty good. It's very simple to use. There's just a power button, and you've got these two prongs on the end here. Uh, they, they're sharp, and you just push those into the wood uh, as far as you can get them. Ideally, you would want to cut the cut the wood open so you have a fresh cut, and you know take a a reading from that. Uh, just looking at the 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 ends of this, um, you know I can I can just try a, a, an experiment right here on the ends. I'm pushing in fairly hard. It's showing us two percent. By the way, this thing has a a hold uh, a hold button, so you can you can. Um, Press that hold button as you're pushing into the wood, and it'll it'll store the reading, so you can you know if, look at it. And if you're in somewhere uh, hard to get to, it, it can be helpful uh, feature. And then you just press it again to to get that done. Undo it, and I'll, I'll uh, take a measurement in the middle of the wood also. And that is about more of what I was looking for right there. It's saying about eight percent. And then if I look at some of this stuff, this is the second run right here that I was going to do a western red cedar. And if I if I take a a reading on that, I'll just I I, I uh, chainsaw milled this last week, and it's had a, a week just kind of sit out. If I take a measurement here, this guy is uh, looking like 20% on the end there. And then if I go over here on this guy, I'm just gonna I'm gonna hold that. Yeah, there we go. Uh, 39%. That's about what it was when I uh, first cut it up. Close to 40%. So <clears throat> the dehumidifier kiln is working. 
I need to uh, cut open some some pieces to uh, just see how well it uh, you know uh, reduce the uh, in, internal um, moisture content. What what I'll do is uh, get this to work. Is that I've got a hose here, right here. It's the garden hose that uh, will plug into the into the uh, dehumidifier, and I'll route that hose down to just a plastic bucket, and the the dehumidifier will just run, you know, in about every day or so. I'll I'll empty the bucket. Uh, this last run that I did, I ran it for about two weeks and uh, the water content uh, started to really trail off so I, I thought that uh, uh, I'd, I'd take them out and do a check to see how, how it looks. So far so good but again I need to cut it open to uh, really get an idea as to what the overall moisture content is. The uh, the most expensive part of this whole this whole uh, project is the uh, the dehumidifier itself, and uh, I I think uh, the the best way to go about that is uh, to find uh, find one used. You know I think you can save a lot of money by buying one used uh, as long as it's you know not worn out. Um, I think that's really the uh, kind of the best way to go about this. The other stuff. Uh, it's stuff I really had around the house anyway, uh, so really not much cost to add her with any of the other stuff. What I'm going to do here is cut cut into uh, one of the dried pieces uh, to kind of get a better idea as to uh, the moisture content inside the wood. I'm just going to cut cut an end off it. It's probably about where I'm going to cut it is probably about an inch and a half to two inches thick. And we'll we'll see what uh, what sort of moisture content we can get out of it. Pretty good. 10, 11%. 